It's not too early to be thinking about the upcoming holiday season. I love starting my holiday baking early when I can and having a ready supply of treats in the freezer. These coconut cheesecake bites are easy to make and freeze well and are always popular. To make these coconut cheesecake bites, you will need four ounces of softened cream cheese, one stick of unsalted butter, softened, one half cup of shredded coconut, one teaspoon of vanilla, and three to three and a half cups of powdered sugar. You'll also need one cup of white chocolate, two teaspoons of coconut oil or Crisco shortening, one cup of shredded coconut, and you'll need a foil lined loaf pan. To get started using either a food processor or a blender, add your half cup of shredded coconut. Now just chop your coconut until it's finely chopped. When your coconut is chopped, add your vanilla, your stick of softened butter, and your four ounces of softened cream, cream cheese, and continue blending until it's smooth. Once your mixture has come together and it's smooth, I'm going to transfer this into a mixing bowl. Now start adding additions of the powdered sugar and stir thoroughly. You're probably noticing that the more powdered sugar you add to this mixture, the more um, liquid it becomes. And that's a chemical reaction that's happening when the sugar is added to the butter and the cream cheese. So just keep adding your additions of powdered sugar and keep mixing until you get the consistency you're looking for. My um, mixture is right where I want it. It's like a thick dough, nice and smooth. And now it's ready to just spread into our loaf pan. Okay, so into your foil lined loaf pan. Now you just wanna, using a spatula, just spread your mixture into your loaf pan. And this will go into the refrigerator for at least a minimum of three hours before we can cut it and form it into candy balls. Our candy mixture has been in the refrigerator for three hours, so now it's time to take it out of the refrigerator and cut it into balls. Meanwhile, I've melted our white chocolate on the stove, don't for, on the stove top, although you can use a microwave. Don't forget to add your coconut oil or shortening, which will keep your mixture smooth and also keep the chocolate from seizing up as white chocolate is known to do. I've lifted our candy out of the loaf pan and now it's just simply a matter of carefully peeling the foil off. I've cut our candy into four pieces. Now just using your eye you're going to guess and you're going to want to cut these into nine pieces. Picking up your pieces and using your hands just roll them into balls. I like to work with about 12 at a time. The candy mixture will um, warm up quickly and you want this to stay really cold. So after I form the balls, this will go back in the freezer for about 10 minutes before I dip them in white chocolate and roll them in coconut to finish them. Using a toothpick or a skewer, or I'm gonna use a cocktail fork, you wanna just stab one of your balls, dip it in the chocolate, and into the coconut and then onto a tray. Again, into the chocolate, into the coconut. Use your fingers if you like and onto the tray. That's all there is to making these delicious cheesecake bites. But these will go back in the freezer until we're ready to serve. They'll keep well in the freezer for a, up to three months. These coconut cheesecake balls are delicious and festive. They are just the right size to satisfy that sweet craving and always a popular addition to any holiday table.